Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and I am your watch guy today. Today I'm reviewing a piece from a brand called Hana Toy. It has been sent to me by a online store called Dida Moda. They are linked in the description and they have a Earth Day sale coming up soon. Now that I've introduced the piece, uh, let me just say I am very, very sorry about being away for about two weeks. I haven't posted anything. I've had a few things to uh, deal with and yeah, yeah, it's it's going away slightly, but I am back up to speed now. The algorithm will absolutely destroy me on this video, so not many of you will see it. But to those of you that check in every week or every time that I post, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it more than you will ever know. It really does does help me quite a bit. So thank you in advance for watching this video. Now, with that out of the way, all the links you will need are in the description for this piece. Now, with that out of the way, let me turn this camera around and let me introduce you to the Hanatoi Hero X. Okay, guys, so this is the Hanatoi uh, Hero X. Now, this has been sent to me by the Dida Moda store there, who is linked in the description. That's where you can pick this one up. Just for your reference, it is $199 on their store at the minute. However, they do have a Earth Day promotion coming up. Uh, I imagine that will bring a nice discount to this piece. Their last promotion brought this in at 20% off. Uh, right now, I think that code's still active, Easter 20, if you wanted to use that. Uh, otherwise, it will be updated shortly. Now, it is a very square, very Bell & Ross-esque type of design to this piece. It is packed with a seagull movement. It is a skeletonized movement, as you can see. My favorite feature of a skeletonized movement you see up at 12 o'clock there, that is the power reserve to the piece. If you hand wind that power reserve, or you hand wind this watch even, you can see the coil actually get tighter towards the center. I just think it's a really nice way to show uh, the details to a, a watch movement. I think it's a very nice feature to be honest. So let's talk about the dimensions of this watch. It is 44 one millimeters in diameter here to here obviously we do have a overhanging crown guard uh, which will make a slightly uh, larger on this 13.2 millimeters thick look to look it does come in over that 50 millimeter threshold that i do like to stay under it comes in a 53.2 millimeters and these are 20 millimeter lugs as you can see they do have that screw faux screw effect in there very nice feature to them the entire casing is in a pvd black style which adds a nice little stealth vibe to this piece there are a lot of machine-esque type of cutaways to it and these screw pieces really do aid in that sort of futuristic type of design that they are going for here that industrial futuristic type of design we have a screw down crown fitted to this piece that first position is the only position that you have on this one that does control the handset as you can see it is a hacking movement also which is nice to see this is the seagull st2502 now from the specifications that i've seen that's pretty much equivalent to the nh35 type of weld so not a, not a bad quality movement it does look slightly rough around the edges in the dial there as you can see this crown is signed with the natoy uh, logo we have a fixed bezel to this piece it does have a really nice level of sandblasted finish in the center of it with high polish accents we have numerals at the 60 15 30 and 45 and the usual filaments through the rest of that bezel now as you can see it's obviously not a fully functional bezel it doesn't move it is fixed in place but it is a nice little piece of decoration for this piece as we move on to the rear of this case and you can see that is a display case back however it is slightly frosted over that display case back we do have some nice levels of um finishing to the movement itself not a swiss standard but for the price of this one i think that it's nice to see myself this is a sapphire crystal fitted into this one and you can see that it does have heavy levels of ar coating on this from that blue little tone as i move it around 50 meters of water resistance in this casing obviously this is not uh, meant for diving now i'm not too sure about the 50 
meters though because it is a screw down crown screw down case back i'm sure they probably could have done a little bit better with that moving into the dial itself you can see where this one does get the hero x name that massive x through the center of the dial gives that one away there's a also a square to the center which adds a little bit of style style to the uh, dial itself or the cutaway dial and really adds to the the uh, square aesthetic of this piece we have numerals at the 12 4 and 8 and they are heavily heavily embossed onto that dial 5 10 and 15 markers around the dial also this is a matte gray effect to this piece and we do have cutaways to the dial at the hour numerals to uh, to indicate them over to the three o'clock position we have the hanatoi uh, logo followed by automatic down to six o'clock we have water resistance that doesn't say what but water resistance anyway uh, the green tone flows throughout the dial itself and onto the tip of that paddle second hand which is nice to see that they've followed that colouring through we have an arrowhead minute hand which almost gets wider as it gets to the tip and a very dive-esque style to the hour hand also now this does have a low level of loom on let me get the lights out and i'll show you that as you can see here only the handset is loomed and unfortunately it's not the best loom in the world it's not very well spread throughout the handset obviously this isn't a dive piece so you know expecting an amazing nuclear loom on it the second hand is really faint we have a patch through the center of the middle hand minute hand um, but otherwise it's kind of what i expected from this piece uh, out of 10 i'd probably give this a four the handset isn't terrible however they haven't really done much with it so yeah unfortunately not the best loom shot here now as we move away from the head of this watch we move on to the band that it's supplied on this leather band is actually quite nice it is uh, quite soft to the touch really suits the piece itself we have some nice levels of stitching in it too which really do accent the piece very nicely one thing that i do appreciate is that they have matched the buckle to the casing nice to see not everyone does that uh, the keeper is slightly loose on this one a little bit thin however again not the worst in the world let me get this on wrist and show you how it looks on my six and a quarter inch wrist as you can see the uh, square design does really bulk out this piece now it doesn't feel bad on wrist if i'm honest it's not something that i wear daily it's not a daily burner for myself however i do have a smaller wrist size than most so that should be taken into account for uh, overall though it's not a bad wearing watch i always do feel like with square watches that you find they are a little bit better on wrist in terms of the size and they're a little bit more wearable usually and that is definitely the case with this one now as i take it off let's discuss the downsides of this piece now the first thing that we will have is people won't be too impressed with the pricing on this uh, 199 dollars isn't a bad deal for an automatic watch however however with it not being one of the bigger brands and being packed with a chinese movement uh, this will come under a little bit of fire now with the 20 percent discount code applied 160 dollars it's not a bad deal when you really think about it if this is your type of style then it's definitely not a bad deal especially considering it is an automatic movement in this piece and it does fit a, a certain design dynamic now another thing to mention I, i'm not that into this handset i think that it's a little bit out of place i would have liked to have seen loomed numerals around the dial itself the bezel with it not being very functional uh, i don't see the point in it there as well as that i would have liked to have seen a signed buckle on this band when we start to play in this type of market we do really need to tick all of the boxes and go a little bit further and i don't feel like they've done that here now it's not a bad attempt from hanatoi but there are they have left a lot of things on the table one thing that really did bug me is the water resistance uh, prints at the six o'clock why have they not got the numeral next to that, the 50 meters and 
Honestly, why are they being why, why are they celebrating a fifty meter water resistance? It's it's pretty much basic. It's yeah, a little bit of a weird one for me. Overall, if this is your type of design aesthetic, if this is your style of watch, I don't think it's a bad deal, and it can be an even better deal if you do use the right discount codes. Now, if you did want to pick one up, it is linked in the description. Thank you to Dida Moda for sending this one in to me. One thing that I'm very interested in, guys, is how you feel about Chinese movements. Obviously, we are, we are using the Siegel ST25 in this one. It's very similar in specifications to the NH35. Obviously, would bring down the pricing quite a bit for a lot of pieces. But how do we feel about it? Is this something that we trust yet, or is this something that we still aren't really sure about on the open market? Is this something that we avoid? I am very interested in that, because obviously Chinese movements are becoming more prevalent in the market. Thank you for watching this video. If you were interested in the Hanatoi Hero X, I have linked it in the description. There are discount codes available on the website. Also, thank you to Dida Moda for sending this in. I really do appreciate the support from them. And more importantly, I appreciate your support. Remember to leave a comment, leave a like, and let's try and get me back up in the algorithm because those two weeks off will absolutely kill me. Thank you for watching this one, guys, and I will see you in the next one.